Hello friends, this video on body fluids and circulation part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us have a quick overview of the human heart and the blood circulation. Okay, now as we said, this is the heart and let us first look at the circulation of blood. So from where does the blood flow and how? Now the deoxygenated blood comes from the vena cava and what are vena cava? They are nothing but several veins joined together to form vena cava. So deoxygenated blood comes from vena cava into the right auricle. This is the right auricle. So from here it comes into the right auricles. Then the right auricle and the right ventricle, they are separated by the tricuspid valve. So when the tricuspid valve opens, it enters into the right ventricle. From right ventricle, it enters into the pulmonary valve. This is the pulmonary valve. So from right auricle to right ventricle, from here it enters into the pulmonary valve. Then it goes into the pulmonary artery. This pulmonary artery takes it to the lungs because this is deoxygenated blood. Now in lungs, oxygen is taken in from the atmosphere and the oxygen the deoxygenated blood gets converted into oxygenated blood. So this oxygenated blood then enters the left auricle. So where is the left auricle? This is the left auricle. And how does it enter? It enters through the pulmonary vein. So it enters through the pulmonary vein. So this oxygenated blood once it enters into left auricle, from left auricle it enters into the left ventricle and that it enters by by bicuspid valve. So through the bicuspid or mitral valve, whatever you call it. Now once it enters into the left ventricle, from there it goes into the aorta through the aortic valve and from aorta it goes through the article to the rest of the body. Through the arteries, it goes to the rest of the body. So this is how the blood circulation takes place inside the heart. So we have already discussed how each of them is governed. I mean, how do we know when the valve has to close and when the valve has to open and all those stuff we have already discussed. So this was just an overview. So now let us see what is double circulation. You would have often heard this term double circulation. That if you talk about blood circulation in human beings, it is double circulation. So what is meant by double circulation? Now, human circulatory system shows double circulation. So, let us see what do we mean by double circulation. It means that there are two distinct circulatory pathways for blood flow that exists. So, what are those two distinct circulatory pathways? So, one is called pulmonary circulation and the other is called systemic circulation. The word pulmonary is always related to lungs. So the circulation of blood between lungs and heart is known as pulmonary circulation. So this circulation takes place between heart and lungs. And systemic circulation takes place between heart and different parts of the body. That is the deoxygenated from different parts of the body comes to the heart and the oxygenated blood from heart goes to the different parts of the body. Similarly here the oxygenated blood comes from lungs to the heart and the deoxygenated blood goes from heart to the lungs. So these are the two circulatory pathways for blood flow. So the overall double circulation pathway is somewhat like this. So this is the, this portion is pulmonary circulation where you see the blood flow takes place between lungs and the heart. You see the deoxygenated blood flows from lungs to the heart and the oxygenated blood flows from the heart to the lungs. So this cycle, this particular circular pathway is the pulmonary circulation. Whereas the other circulatory pathway is the systemic circulation where the oxygenated blood flows from the heart to the different parts of the body and the deoxygenated blood flows from different parts of the body to the heart. So this portion is the systemic circulation. So this is systemic circulation. So due to the presence of these two distinct circulatory pathways, uh, human circulatory system is said to have double circulation. 
so pulmonary circulation as we said deoxygenated blood flows to lungs by via pulmonary artery and oxygenated blood flows from lungs via pulmonary vein so this is the uh, medium through which the blood flow takes place similarly systemic circulation oxygenated blood to tissues via arteries arterioles or capillaries and deoxygenated blood from tissues via venules veins or vena cava so we have already discussed all these things in detail in our previous thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.